Hey guys, Tim here. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to install Windows 7. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar, but I just thought I'd do a quick video since I hadn't had one up there. Uh, I'm actually going to do three videos, how to install Windows 7, how to update or upgrade to Windows 8, and then how to update to Windows 8.1. So we're just going to do a DVD install here. And you just want to make sure your boot order is correct if you're using a DVD and then you're going to select Windows Setup and this is on the uh, AMD system that we built a couple of weeks ago so it's an A8 with uh, an ATI uh, I think it's a 5780 but I'll have to double check uh, it's set up for the dual graphics mode which I will also be doing a brief uh, tutorial on after we get this installed. So the first thing you want to check out is the uh, which language do you want, in this case English, uh, time and currency format English, and keyboard input method is US. Uh, your mileage may vary there, you know, grab what you need. Uh, you can always do uh, you know, what to know before installing Windows if you want to know. Um, I've probably installed, you know, by hand 10,000 times. Uh, automated, I've installed, you know, more than 10 million. But that's in a different line of work. So I'm basically. Uh, the hard drive in here I know has no data on it that I want so I'm basically just deleting the partitions that were already there um, if you have a hard drive that you know you don't need any of the data off of just go ahead and blow it away it's the safest or the the cleanest thing to do then you want to make a partition uh, in this case since it's one 500 gig hard drive I'm just gonna make the whole partition um, there's no real reason anymore in my opinion to partition out drives uh, unless you have a RAID set, which in this case we don't, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's going to create uh, an additional partition. And then this is the system reserve partition. This is the OS partition. So you want to select the primary, so it'll al almost always be partition 2. Select the primary and then say next. And you're going to get it's going to copy basically what it's doing when it says copying Windows files is it's copying them from the DVD uh, to your hard drive and it's also expanding any cab files to your local hard drive then we'll start installing features installing updates and completing installation so uh, with WIMS the actual install is very small most of it is unpacking uh, the install itself so so we're going to time lapse this part and we'll be back once we get a little further along here.
Okay, so there we go. In this case, I'm just going to call the username AMD and the computer name AMD PC. Uh, you would type in your password here. I'm just not going to type one in because the system's going to get blown away again. And then I'm also not going to activate because uh, you would type in your product key here and say automatically activate. But in this instance, I'm not going to just because I'm going to reinstall this machine again. Uh, use recommended settings. I always recommend. Ha ha. Uh, check your time, which that's oh so close to being right, but off by an hour. So at this point you can remove the DVD if it's annoying you like it was annoying me there. All the files you need are already on your computer. So right now it's basically setting up the user profile which in this case is AMD. Um, it's setting up the I guess the generic settings so it's setting up your desktop preferences you know all this generic look and feel that you see uh, every time a user is created it actually makes a copy of this from uh, just in case any of you are ever interested if you go to computer and you go to users there's a public uh, this public there's actually a hidden folder as well um, but it grabs some stuff out of this public folder and it grabs some stuff from default folders. So that is that. So basically we have an OS installed now. So great, we have an OS installed now. Can we use it? No. Because inevitably, especially on newer machines with older OS's, you're not going to have a network driver. So at this point uh, you either need to have the uh, driver disk which the only thing I would ever use a DVD uh, disk that came with your motherboard for is in fact the LAN driver just because it's easier to get it on there and then do the rest of the updates online so that's what I'm gonna do. So give me a sec I'll pop that in And it should come up and autoplay. And if not, we'll uh, browse into the folder and grab it. You know, your average user shouldn't be afraid uh, to install Windows. It's not that hard. As long as you keep a good backup of your data, the worst thing you can happen is have to have somebody come help you that knows how to do it. So, especially when you have a brand new machine, it's always worth doing before you get it set up the way you want. You know, go ahead and reinstall it right away just so you learn how to do it if it ever comes up. Because, you know, it's like walking past Best Buy the other day and, you know, somebody, their hard drive failed and they were paying them to reinstall Windows from the setup disks on their machine. I mean, seriously, all they had to do was put the disk in and, like, hit the space bar. So... You know, it's just kind of, kind of sad to see. You know, I wish more people had basic computer skills, especially when it comes to installing OSs, because y'all would save yourselves a lot of money. Um, my guess is, if you're watching this channel, you've probably installed Windows almost as many times as I have. But you know, enthusiasts tend to do that more. It really just is a matter of not being afraid. If this is your first time doing it, you know, do it somewhere that you just don't care if something goes wrong. You know, if a friend has an old laptop you can borrow, you don't have to activate it. Just install it and see how it goes and, you know, mess around with some settings. Uh, you know, and then just blow away the install again. You know, it's okay to do an install uh, without a, a product key and then just, you know, wipe it away immediately. So there's nothing in the, the terms of service that says you can't do that. That You can legally use the uh, copy for 30 days without registering it. 
of course only ever have it on one PC but you know if you just blow it away right away then it's not the end of the world so hopefully here we're gonna get the Realtek drivers going so you just go ahead and install them I will you know probably go look for updated uh, Ethernet drivers later but for right now this is good enough it'll get us on Windows Update which is the last step I want to show as part of uh, a bit what I consider a basic install um, technically we're installed at this point but to me this isn't good enough the machine needs to be patched before it's you know quote unquote ready And I'll show you guys some tips I have for patching. So we're going to go ahead and say finish. Uh, it is a home network because we're at my house. And I not going to share anything off this machine just because uh, I'm not going to connect it anyways and don't need the home group password because I'm not going to connect to the home group but so now you can see I'm gonna exit out of the MSI utility now you can see we have internet access and if we go to Windows update it's gonna pop up and pull uh, a ton of updates so it hasn't checked before I always want to get other Microsoft product updates because uh, this will help you pull driver updates that are Wickle certified that are up on Woo which is the first place to start if you're uh, updating your machine uh, I don't want suggested sites just use express settings yada 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 give me my stupid tab so I can knock it down so basically you want to say I agree, install, which is basically just installing Moo. And then you want to say install now. And that's basically just going to install the newer uh, update client. And then in theory it should have popped it back open, but I guess it's going to make me go check it. There we go. So now notice it says for Windows and other products from Microsoft Update. So this is what you want because that way you're going to get, you know, office updates, you're going to get, you know, other non-Windows updates that are security based, you're going to get driver updates, uh, and you'll get stuff like, you know, the free security software which you know, I'm going to use on this is just a demo. I don't really feel like, you know, putting my antivirus software on here since it's only going to be up for a while and it's going to get wiped like I said. So this is actually an RTM version of Windows 7, so it's not the SP1. So when this comes up, there's going to be, I'm going to guess, over 100 updates. What I'm going to show you real quick and then uh, finish up the video is uh, the first set of things I update. And then you would reboot and come back through and update the rest of the stuff. But the first thing I usually go after uh, are actually the driver updates. I tend to like to do those first just to get them out of the way. They're the ones that are the easiest to go wrong. Um, and they also affect the performance of the system. So uh, 140 updates are available. So I always go to optional updates first. Uh, and the first thing I do actually is I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold down shift and right click down to the bottom of all these. And I'm going to say hide because uh, I don't need any language packs I don't want to accidentally select them uh, so now they're all you see they're all grayed out so I'm gonna do live essentials because that's the free antivirus and that's for me right now that's good enough uh, we're gonna do the USB whoops sorry I selected the wrong thing there you want security essentials uh, I do use Silverlight for some stuff so yeah we'll wait we'll wait on that one so basically we want two things out of here 
and then you're going to come over to the important and basically I just select and unselect and then I'm going to go after anything that is driver based so I really don't like doing 140 some updates at once uh, so there's only one so the other one I'm going to grab at the same time yeah, maybe I'll wait on the IE9 as well so we'll grab that guy that guy and uh, some cumulative updates here okay so that's ActiveX kill bits the ATI driver so we're going to say OK and you'll notice I only have about five things uh, I tend to try to do these in sets just because I don't know I'm paranoid like that I'm sure there's going to be 50 million comments on this video that say you can just do them all at once I prefer to do them in small batches especially use doing the bigger ones first because those might be cumulative updates that get rid of other updates um, but you're just going to say install uh, if there's any that require uh, license obviously read it which I've done a million times except it's going to download them it's going to install them it'll ask you to reboot your computer reboot and just keep doing the same process until all of them are done uh, if you're going to update or upgrade um, what I would do is just do uh, the antivirus and the the drivers and then uh, upgrade to Windows 8 so this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV if you have any questions guys uh, please put them down in the comments I'm sure a lot of you already know how to install Windows but I figured since I was doing it I'd make a quick video anyways let me know I'll try to answer any questions I can I have you know, over 15 years experience with Windows OS's so uh, usually most questions I can answer and if not I can point you guys to the right tech forms to ask those questions so this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV keep on watching and we'll see you next time